Hey guys, it is Ben, aka the Fuse Box. It is time now for part five of our journey through Metal Gear Solid Five. Five and five. I hope you all are enjoying. I've got my fancy new mic stand. Can't you see how fancy it is? This was really top of the line shit. Costs a lot of money at your local supermarket, if you will. So, don't get too jealous, okay? This is for the professionals only. So, a couple of things before we get going. A buddy of mine talked to me on the phone and was basically telling me uh, I'm, I'm being lame and old by playing old games. And that if I really want the channel to grow, I gotta start playing some new shit. And this filled me with a sense of dread at first. It made me feel... uncomfortable. Because I hate most new games. I don't trust anything these days, as... I've seen very little to inspire confidence that it's not going to be pushing either a stupid message or that it's just fucking lame like there's just not enough to do it's a complicated situation for me but I decided to bite the bullet I went looking through the steam store and I found a game that is new came out about two months ago it is called Terra Invicta and it's about colonization and war in space and of course the first thought I had was dear Jesus please tell me that they're not gonna do the Outlaw Knights storyline bit but as I was looking through it, it it involves more alien conflict as well as conflict with the nations on earth mine doesn't involve alien conflict mine is uh, geopolitics combined with really badass pirates and that early 90s flavor of edginess. So, I have decided I am gonna start streaming that game. I am gonna give it a shot, as it were. But I'm, not, I'm too damn stubborn to completely give up on my goals. So, I have also downloaded Fallout New Vegas from the Steam Store. I've never played Fallout on the computer. And I haven't played New Vegas in so long, and I'm really... Like, I've been wanting to play it again so bad, and you can't play it on the PS4 without streaming it. And as you probably have, could tell, my internet is not super great with streaming games. Hence, I'm pre-recording a lot of this. So, I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna try to stream a Fallout New Vegas playthrough, and it'd be really cool if we could start getting, like, suggestions from, like, audience members on what routes I should take. Although, I'm, well, I'm a little too stubborn for that. I might not take your suggestions. And I'm also gonna be downloading Fallout 3 because it is about to become free on the Steam store. And free, free is where it's at. So, we got that on the docket, as well as the fact that I am going to try to start doing Red Dead Redemption 2 really soon on this channel. Um... I guess I've been putting it off because it's like I'm kind of in that zone where it's like I can only really focus on one game at a time in many in many respects. But I might start varying it up pretty soon. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm nervous about playing it on here. I guess it's because like we have these issues where like the internet kind of craps out here and there. And... I just really love the story of that game so much. I don't want you guys to miss a second of it. It 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 really it gets my it gets my loins frothing. 
that came out really weird. So, I think it's time to get started. Oh, God. Sometimes I talk a little too much. Yeah. Although I was being told also that I don't talk enough during these streams, so get ready. So when last we left off, we just did some wet work missions, uh, grunt stuff, nothing to write home about. Uh, the game said I did a really good job, uh, but it wasn't up to my usual standards, and I was quite ashamed of myself. But I'm gonna leave the video up anyway. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna back out of it. We we're on this road. And we're not turning around for shit. I'm like a dad in the car with all the kids in the back. I'm like, no, no, no. We're not stopping. We're not stopping for, for a Happy Meal. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna make good time, damn it. Oh, Jesus. Is it taking longer than usual or is it just me? Maybe it's just my talking. That's, you know. You guys dig my mic setup? It's fucking awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Jesus, it's taken a while. The fuck is going on? Oh, great. Give it some gas here, people. Let's give it some damn gas. Okay. We're back, finally. Ooh. Some successful offline missions. we got Jesus Did I wake it up or is PlayStation feeling grouchy It's kind of old like myself I'm only 33 and people tell me I'm really old Select a mission. Uh, I was checking on the video output because uh, I've noticed that a 
lot of times when the video is enlarged, it's kind of fuzzy. It's like it looks crystal clear on my screen, but for whatever reason, when I look at it on YouTube, it gets kind of blurry. Unit like dispatched. I went to film school, by the way. Unit dispatched. Getting money and resources. get to the main event because I've been wasting your time. Please select a mission. The objective is to rescue and extract a Mujahid captured by the Soviets. He's being held in the ruins of Lamar Khati Palace, as are a lot of POWs. Civilians, guerrillas, suspected guerrillas. The Soviets have turned the place into their own black site. However, We've only been asked to rescue one of the prisoners. He's known as Malak, angel to his fellow Mujahideen. Like the father, or rather, this was his father's dying wish. Or Malak, Malak. Mission Malak. accepted. Malak. <laughs> Give Vile Cobra a break. He went through a lot of hell last time. Uh, I'm looking for somebody who needs some improvement. The beauty of it is when you play main missions with characters that have kind of lower stats, they tend to get their stats will improve the more main missions they do. Uh, and I also like to choose them based on their names, because some of these names are pretty fucking stupid. We got Raging Eagle. Kind of reminds me. That's basically uh, Rosetta's name, so we're going to go with him. deploy at night. It makes the most sense. Yes, indeed. The load time is just absurd tonight. Hopefully when I start streaming computer games, we won't have too many of these issues.
terrorist mercenaries that save endangered animals from war zones. Your heroes like like the jackasses that threw tomato soup. Ah! Van Gogh. Yeah! Analysis complete. time <sighs> and it had to glitch at the right Run! god damn it <sighs> fuck I can't win for losing your mission is to rescue a prisoner being held at Lamar Khatib Palace Every fucking time. Was there an update that made this shit more aggravating?
extracted knew where the target is. The target Malak was sent to a different outpost. I've sent the information to your map screen. You're gonna need more information to pinpoint a location. The map has been updated. I swear to God, the issue I'm having is that for because of the casting onto the screen, it makes it makes the aiming kind of like more glitchy. It's like Your it's mission is to rescue a prisoner zone. being held at Lamarchate Palace. And I just don't remember the <laughs> being this aggravated to deal with. Let's try this again. You have arrived at your destination. Fortress that I'm sneaking around in to save you. Analysis complete.
You've got to be kidding me. Jesus Christ. I'm not restarting again, dude. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Never had these issues before. Never. Arrived at Mother Base. I swear, I keep thinking about the dude with that light. It's like they always follow a pattern. Usually the light never goes that far to the right. And it just seemed like he just swung on me all of a sudden. Like... Christ. It's like the game knows I'm casting. Detected. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. I ain't taking no fucking chances. No fucking chances. Analysis complete. Enemy presence 
detected. The map has been updated. Okay. I'm going to do the damn level over again. We're doing it again. Motherfuckers. If you need to fast forward this part of the game, in this part of the video, I I understand. But my pride will not allow this. Your mission is to rescue a prisoner being held at Lamar Khate Palace. He's known as Malak, angel to his fellow Mujahideen. Start by checking the target's VI on your iDroid. The Soviets captured him and took him to the ruins of the palace. His family was subsequently killed in an airstrike on his village. The Soviets scorched Earth operation wiped it off the map. The client is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. If you can manage to rescue other prisoners as well, each one will add a bonus to our pay. When you see them, I'm sure your conscience will tell you what to do. Again, I'm I'm probably gonna go scorched earth and just start killing everybody. me again. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Why? This is how you extract it and you where the target is. The target Malak was sent to a different outpost. I've sent the information to your map screen. You're gonna need more information to pinpoint the location. The map has been updated. Motherfucker! Swear to God. Cooking with gas. Still not Subject perfect. Subject on board. Leave yeah. the rest to us. Who gives a shit? light. Of course, the light's technically not even turned on, because I took out the guy. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Looks like we're doing this one and one of them. 
Extraction arrived at the base. base. Better level up the fucking intel team. That's just what we need, armored vehicles. Analysis complete. Clouds. Analysis complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Detected. The map has been updated. You gonna extract him? Yara Oku Supply Outpost. We have a pretty good fix on the target's location. How does security look? Take your time to gauge their defenses and plan your entry. Enemy presence detected. The map. 
map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
tend to stay down longer when they're asleep. Roger that. Analysis complete. Камер наблюдения уже установили. Все до последнего. Если пик зона не больше, чем я думал. Я уверен, можно ли на эти камеры вообще положиться. Но я не знаю, можно ли тут хоть на что-нибудь положиться. На сниме мы можем лучше следить за периметром. Эрн, не знаю, пока с своими глазами не посмотрим на картинку с камерой. Да, надо посмотреть. Ладно, я пошел. Analysis complete. 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 I gotta try to save Malak and the problem is uh, Malak cannot be extracted by a balloon Subject because he's injured. Leave the rest to us. So I'm gonna have to do that. Analysis complete. Aiming is much more annoying. On the Caution. Sandstorm approaching. The sandstorm will provide us some cover. There. That's the target. Ah, badly wounded. We can rule out a full extraction. We'll just have to do it by Motherfucker. You gotta be kidding me! No! Damn it! Target safety is your top priority. Eliminate the threat. I'm calling 
back up. Please <laughs> support helicopter Roger. requested. I mean, y'all are just giving awards for anything now. Oh, and we lost money. Oh, great. Everything we were out. 
Cypher's obviously up to something. This is probably just another preemptive cleanup operation to them. But to Malik, he lost his village, his family, everything. And he wants his revenge. In other words, he's one of us. Good. He captured it alive. It's a pretty rare animal you caught. Good old sand cats. I was thinking about editing out the beginning of that mission, but I think I'm going to leave it in for entertainment value. Christ. I was trying to get to that moment, honestly, and my amateur fuck-ups on hard mode made it a lot longer. Yeah. So, that is going to do it for today. Uh, I am going to start off our next session playing some of the audio tapes related to quiet i know you're really excited about that so yeah remember ladies and gentlemen click on the link in the description of this video to sign up for the mailing list for outlaw knights genesis of a renegade part two we are gonna be launching in about three weeks the night of Halloween, All Hallows Eve. Actually, it's probably less than three weeks at this point. The night of Halloween, midnight leading into November 1st is when we're going to be having the launch party stream. Everybody is welcome to come. You're encouraged to wear a costume, but you don't have to. I can't make you. Uh, and chances are I might not even be able to get a damn costume in time. I want to dress up like Jack Sparrow, but I haven't worn the damn thing in years, and parts of it have been lost and have fallen off thanks to my drunken escapades years ago. Uh, yeah. If you like anything I had to say, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. If you didn't like anything I had to say or if you were just disgusted, with my retries during this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. And yeah. Oh. If you want to find me on social media, you can find me on Twitter at Knights Outlaw with an N, not a K. And also, you can find me on Instagram at Outlaw Knights. And on. I almost said my last name. And on Facebook, you can find me under my real name, Ben Fuselier, F-U-S-E-L-I-E-R. And I think that's all. So thank you so much for joining me yet again, ladies and gentlemen, and I will talk to you all later.